Say to the power that shakes the sky, how terrible thou art, sinners before thy presence fly, or at thy feet they bow. Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you could. This is evening prayer for Sunday, May the 5th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 34, Matthew chapter 13, verse 24 to 34, and Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 through 6, 11 through 13, and 17 and 18. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Alleluia. Psalm 34. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. My soul boasts in you. The humble shall hear and be glad. O saints, glorify the Most High with me. Let us exalt God's name together. I sought you, my God, and you heard me, and you delivered me from all my fears. We looked upon you and were enlightened, and our faces were not ashamed. I cried out, and you heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. Your angel encamps around those who fear you and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed are they that trust in God. O oh, saints, fear your God, for there is no want for those that fear God. The young lions suffer lack and hunger, but they that seek you, my God, shall not want any good thing. Come, children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of God Most High. Who among you loves life and wants many days to enjoy it? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of God are upon the righteous, and God's ears are open to their cry. Your face, O God, is against them that do evil to remove their memory from the earth. The righteous cry, and you hear, and you deliver them from all their troubles. You are close to them that are brokenhearted, and save those who have a contrite spirit. Many are the troubles of the righteous, but you deliver them from all their afflictions. They keep all of their bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. You redeem the lives of your servants, and none that trusts in you shall be punished. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I bless you at all times. Your praise always on my lips. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, beginning at verse 24. The parable of weeds among the wheat. Jesus put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field. But while every body was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat. And when they went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the household came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? And he answered, An enemy has done this. And the slave said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? And he replied, No. For in gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into my barn. 
And he put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. And then he told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. And Jesus told the crowds all of these things in parables, and without a parable he told them nothing. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Alleluia, I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider you have thrown into the sea. You are my strength and my song, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My ancestors' God, I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior, and Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's chariots and Pharaoh's army you cast into the sea. Pharaoh's chosen captains were drowned in the Red Sea. The depths have covered them, they sank like a stone. Your right hand, O Most High, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Most High, dashed the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, glorious in holiness, awesome in praises, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand. The earth swallowed them. In your mercy, you led the people whom you redeemed and guided them by your strength to your holy abode. You brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own inheritance, the place, O God, that you made your dwelling the sanctuary, O God, that your hands have made, and you reign forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Alleluia. Alleluia, O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.